Paleontologists found these three strange vertical footprints, and this is what they think made them. In the 1980s, the highlands of Bolivia, while a group of workers were working down, they saw some footsteps printed in the vertical cliff near their working zone. They found it strange because it was vertical and the patterns were in clear sequence. The site is located near the capital of Bolivia, Sucre, located in the foothills of the Andes Mountains. The Mainers of Francesca, the Bolivian cement company, were in an area three miles away from Sucre in a mission of excavation. The patterns looked more strange with very step they took closer to the rock. Apparently, they have never seen such a strange thing. They were impressed because the patterns weren't normal, but actually it's a trail of actual dinosaur footprints. They thought so because the site, Cal Orco, was always important to many paleontologists because of its uncovered secrets, and each time they discover one. Despite the major discovery in the 1980s, it wasn't until 1994 that major excavation work started to study the area. That's when scientists realized just how special this place was. The 5,000 dinosaur footprints covered a huge wall that stretches 4,000 feet across and 250 feet high. The research started in 1998 when Christian Meyer from the Natural History Museum in Basel, Switzerland formed a research group. They prepared themselves to spend the next few months at the site to study the wall that they had found, the only place with such extensive collection of dinosaur footprints. At 269,100 square feet, the area contains footprints from nearly 300 different dinosaur species in all. One of these creatures is thought to have been at least 80 feet tall, while the largest footprint is 3 feet long. Meyer said in his interview, there is no comparable site in the world, not only because of the footprints that they are studying, but also because Cal Orco provided them the opportunity to learn more about dinosaurs. This opportunity helped them recognize the dinosaur species to whom the footprints belong. They found that they might belong to Carnotaurus, a predatory animal whose feet and arms are small, as well as Ankylosaurus, a herbivore with an armored exterior and club-like tail. They also found Titanosaur footprints, a giant herbivore dinosaur that weighed more than 100 tons. The longest dinosaur tracks is at 1,150 feet in Cal Orco, made by a juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex, or Johnny Walker, as a group of researchers named it. But that wasn't all. Researchers discovered other fantastic things. They found dinosaur bones and crocodiles and fish, which made them believe that the area was a lake once for sure, in which these creatures used to bathe and drink from it. Scientists also claim that the damp climate was ideal for dinosaurs to leave deep footprints in the soft ground. As the area became more dry, these footprints hardened and were preserved. The cycle repeated year after year, forming several layers of footprints. And because of the geological phenomena, tectonic activity, the rock was pushed upward. That explains why the footprints looked as marching in a vertical direction. This discovery helped Cal Orco being a tourist site by opening the Parquet Cretacico Museum show in 2006 to explain the site's rich prehistoric past. They also provided a viewing platform for tourists to see the dinosaur footprints. Every time they check a new place in Cal Orco, they discover a new valuable thing from the past. As Maria Teresa, a guide at the site, said, we see fresh footprints and fossils all the time. We lose some, we find some. It's always changing. That point was proven perfectly in April 2015 with the discovery of a whopping 5,000 new footprints, including two sets that one belonged to a previously unknown species. Who knows what they can find next? 
Cal Orco is a real important prehistoric site in the world where science and history can always be mixed to come out with a new valuable discovery to be put in the site's rich past.